Well, Jesus turned about him, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. So Jesus sees her, speaks to her, and then it mentions that she was healed. That's the order. He sees her, speaks to her, she's healed. Mark immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue, that's powered, had gone out of him, turned about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples, oh, okay, yeah, there's a whole lot more here. His disciples said to him, You see the multitude throwing about you who touched me. And he looked about round about her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you whole. Okay, way more in Mark than in Matthew. So I'm going to go with she was healed immediately because that's the only way that would make sense for Jesus to be struck with the knowledge that power had gone out of him. You can't say that Jesus just randomly turned about, said, your faith has healed you. And then over time, she was healed. So I will start with, and immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up. And I can add after that, and the woman was made whole from that hour. Or maybe I should put, and immediately the woman was made whole from that hour and the fountain of her blood was dried up. So is she made whole and then explaining it? Or the fountain of her blood dried up and she was made whole? But if I say the fountain of her blood dried up and then she's made whole, it might seem like there was more than one issue. But if I say she was made whole... Let me think about this. Oh, no, I'm going to go. And immediately she was made whole. And the fountain of her blood dried up. Yeah, I have to start with and immediately she was made whole. I'm going to go with immediately instead of from that hour from Matthew. Because at least throughout the Bible, they measure things by hours. The fifth hour, the sixth hour, the ninth hour, all that. So immediately would be the same as saying from that hour that's that point in time we would say this minute or actually that might be an older way of saying it we would say this second this instant so i'm going to go with immediately instead of that hour and i'll just leave out those words the next words are and immediately what does luke say and immediately her issue of blood stanched doesn't say she was made whole, so I'll go and immediately from Luke and from Mark, and I'll just add the woman was made whole from Matthew. So Mark and Luke and immediately Matthew, the woman was made whole. I have to put and the fountain of her blood stopped. Because I already put and immediately for Mark. The next words are just the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Luke, and immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, who touched me? So I don't have any other ands. Her issue of blood stanched or... The fountain of her blood was dried up. Her is from Mark and Luke. Matthew just has, the woman was made whole from that hour. So I already used that. So all the rest of the healing and the description is only from Mark and Luke. So I'm going to go with her. That's both, but it is the order of... Luke, where her, it comes next. Her. I don't want to get too descriptive. I'm going to put issue again.
of, and I already used her. So I'll just say of blood. Of blood. Yeah, so that's both. Of blood. Mark was dried up. Luke says stanched. I think I'm going to go with stanched. Because saying was dried up, that's the result. Stanched. They have it underlined and they explain stopped. Stopped, I guess that's also the result. Again, I don't want to be too descriptive. I'm going to go with stanched. All right, just accept it. So I say was stanched or just stanched? Her fountain of blood. Okay, because it ends with in Mark and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague, I can just go with her fountain of blood stanched, not her fountain of blood was stanched. Yeah, so that's Luke stanched, Mark, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. The next verse in Mark, And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself, Luke has, and Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng you and press you, and you say, who touched me? And Jesus said, somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. So I can have both. I can have Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue gone out of him, turned about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? Or who touched me? I think I'm going to go with me instead of clothes because it's not just all his clothes. And then after that, I'll also put that Jesus said, I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. I could have both. So the first part is only Mark and Jesus. Immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Luke, and Jesus said, turned him about in the press and said, so I can have and Jesus at the beginning be both and then the said be both at the end. And Jesus, this is dark yellow, turned him about in the press, and now both, said, who touched my clothes, or who touched me? Who touched me, or who touched my clothes? What does it say in Matthew? Does it say anything? Now, Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, oh, you know what? I can put that in here. But Jesus turned him about. Turned him about. Yeah, I'll put that in. So instead of, but Jesus turned him about, I'll just leave it as, and Jesus immediately knowing. So Jesus is all three. Turned him about is also Matthew, dark red, and when he saw her, that has to come later, Mark, but the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth, and he said to her, okay, so he saw her, when she fell down before him, but that's not mentioned in Mark. Maybe I could just put it in here. And told him all the truth. Back to Matthew. And when he saw her, he said to her. 
What does Luke say? She came trembling and falling down before him. She declared to him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, I'll save the rest of this sentence in Matthew for later. And when he saw her, he said that. So until then, all the rest is Mark and Luke. So still, the question. Who touched my clothes? Or who touched me? In Luke, afterwards, it said, When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng you and press you, and say you, Who touched me? So that seems to confirm what is said in Luke. In Mark, And his disciples said to him, You see the multitude throng about you, and you say, Who touched me? So I'm going to go with that, instead of who touched my clothes. It's not confirmed in Mark that he actually said that. And if he did, it would be kind of strange for his disciples to say, how can you say something he didn't say? It's probably because that's what is what he said. Mark and Luke, who touched... No, it's just Luke. 